This one thing, this one thing can help you to conquer overwhelm, make progress, and enjoy life. Or, or not doing it, if you don't have this one thing, it can be the biggest major goal killer that prevents any meaningful progress and your life will not go in the direction that you want. Let's find out what it is in today's episode. This is the Enjoy Life Podcast. If you feel overwhelmed or stuck and you want to break free so that you can find your power to take action to achieve your goals and enjoy life, then you're in the right place. Welcome, my friend. I am glad that you're here. My name is Nick Maisie, and it's my desire to be your guide through this material so that you can choose your mindset, goals, and actions so you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. Now let's dive right in. Well, welcome to episode 167, the Enjoy Life Podcast. Uh, I, I always, I'm always saying it. I'm thrilled that you're here, glad that you're here. Uh, well, I am. I am. And, and today, today we get to talk about one of, uh, one of my favorite topics. Well, a lot of these goal killers, you know, we're in this goal killer series, and uh, this is the second episode of it. So if you missed the first one, just go back and uh, listen to it wherever you're listening to this podcast, or you can go to the website, nickmazy.com, type in episode, or type, type in 166. Uh, for episode 166, it'll pull it right up. But that was the last episode. This is episode 167. So we're diving into another goal killer. These are kind of like the broad areas of goal killers. And your specific thing that might be holding you back, it probably falls into one of these groups. So today, today we have another one for you. And if you looked at the title for the episode, then you probably already have a good clue about what we're going to talk about. But you know, let me start with a, telling you a little bit about me. So I like to go on short hikes in the woods on trails. There's something nice about just being in the trees and, you know, and walking through the trails. There's not a lot of people and you're just kind of out there doing your own thing. It's just nice. There's fresh air. It's just a wonderful time. Wonderful time. But I'm not here to convince you to go for hikes. Anywho, I like going for, for hikes. And my wife and I, you know, we, we do that. Uh, we used to do it a lot more. Now with uh, kids, you know, not, don't do it quite as much. Uh, but, you know, we take them for, for walks and, and short hikes, too. You know, but we'd always just kind of search for nearby trails, you know, and maybe do a little drive, you know, and go for a hike. And it was a great thing. You know, and one of the biggest ones, you know, I guess the biggest one that I did, you know, was Mount Lacan. And it's, it's in the Smoky Mountains. Great, great hike. A lot of fun. Uh, it's like, I think it's like a, a, 11 miles, you know, there and back. Uh, and for, for any of you that are real hikers, okay, I know that that's not much. Uh, but for me, that was big. You know, that, that was definitely big enough for me. And, you know, no matter much, how much I enjoy going for hikes and, and go, enjoy just kind of being in the woods and in nature and just walking around, no matter how much I enjoy that, there's no way that I was going to do that without being clear that that's what I was going to do. I had to get clear on, you know, I, I want to do this hike. You know, for, for me, I needed to prepare a little bit and I had to make sure that I, you know, could do it. We had the supplies that I was kind of physically, you know, able to do it. And just by doing some shorter hikes leading up to it, I had to do a lot of that. And, and I did, and I enjoyed preparing for doing that hike because I was clear on what my goal was of, of doing that hike, you know, hiking Mount Lacan. We made a weekend out of it. It was a lot of fun, but I still had to be clear on what it was. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't have been prepared. You know, my body wouldn't have been prepared. It was pretty, you know, it was kind of strenuous. And it just wouldn't have happened. Because pretty much nothing, nothing worthwhile happens without being clear that you want it to happen. You know, anything worthwhile is worth getting a little clarity so that you can achieve it, so that you can do it, so that you can enjoy it. As the saying goes, no one ends up on top of Mount Everest by accident. You know, you never hear a champion say, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I just achieved everything I wanted by accident. No, no, heck no. They, they were clear on what they wanted. They got crystal clear on what they wanted to do. And they probably got clear on a lot of other things. So it's either get clear or forget it because it's not going to happen. You know, there's no sense in even wasting your mental time and energy. Or you're, sorry, no sense in wasting your time or your mental energy, because if you're not exactly clear on it, then it's just probably not going to happen at all. You're not going to achieve your goals and everything that you want, living the life that you want, 
unless you're clear on what that is. So now before I dive into talking about some different things that you can get clear on, I do want to say one thing. You know, there, there used to be a time where I just used to really like going for a drive. You know, and the point was, it was not to get anywhere. It was just to enjoy my time and, you know, and actually had a, you know, a lot of fun just kind of driving around with a friend. You know, we kind of explore, we'd see some things. And and that's okay. You know, I, I didn't have to be crystal clear on the goal of going somewhere. But I still was able to enjoy my time. And, you know, this is, you know, the Enjoy Life podcast. And I want you to enjoy what you're doing. The, but the fact was, is I was clear on what we were doing. I was clear on why we were doing it. We were just going for a drive and, and to go, you know, drive through the mountains or the country or just, you know, just to enjoy ourselves. Go explore a little bit and just go for a drive. You don't always have to have a very detailed plan uh, on what you're going to do, where you're going to do, how you're going to do it, how long it's going to take. Clarity isn't all about planning out every single detail. It's just about getting clear on what's important, uh, important to you for what you want and, and why you want to achieve it and all that good stuff. So before I dive into some different ideas on things you can get clear on, just know, I'm not saying that you have to plan every single detail. Sometimes a little bit of spont spontaneity and ha and is a good thing. You can help you to enjoy it a little bit more, have you had a little fun, as long as you're clear on what's important for what you want. Which leads right into some different things that you can decide which ones of these are most important for you and, and, and the outcome that you want in your life that you can get clear on so that it can help you to make the progress that you want. It can help you to achieve the goals that, that you have, and it can help you to enjoy your life more. Let me jump in here really quick. I just got to say, goal killers stop all progress. But you know, that, that's not even the worst part about it. You know, They're tough to see when they're on you. When you're in the middle of a goal killer, it's tough to see them. But the worst part is that it's even tougher to overcome them when you're in the middle of it kind of like one of those things where you can't see the forest from the trees when you're in the middle of it it makes it uh, difficult to see and about impossible to overcome them but goal killers don't have to stop your progress because i'm creating a master class to help you identify goal killers and overcome them but i need your help i, I got a lot of material together for it but i want to make sure i'm addressing your specific needs and questions and just for helping me out with your input I'm going to give you free access to the masterclass. So if you'd like free access to this class, as well as to have the class answer your specific questions and address your specific needs, then just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM. That's nickmazy.com slash GKM. And all you have to do to get free access to the class when it's released is you just have to ask me any question about goal killers. What's your number one challenge, how to address, or what specifically th that you want to learn that I can address in the class. That way it's tailored just for you. Just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM. Ask me any question related to goal killers, and I'll give you free access to the class when it's released. All right, and now back to the episode. Now let's talk about these. First thing, one of the first things that, that's going to be good, <laughs> really good for you to get clear on, in my opinion, is what you want. Just write it out. Sometimes writing it out kind of makes you think about it a little bit more because it has to go from your, you know, your brain to kind of some words and you have to like make your hand actually write. And so the process of writing out what you want can really help you to clarify it. And you can actually do a lot of the, the work to get crystal clear on it just by making yourself write it. Uh, and it's okay. You can scribble it out. You can, you can make corrections. You can change it. But when you're writing it, you know, you're having to really think through it. So that is really, really good way to help get clear uh, on what you want. Just write down what you want. What do you want? And then where you're at, you know, talk about a little bit about where you're at right now. Once again, it can be good to write it, but if you know what you want and where you're at, that's really going to help set you up to, to be able to take the action, do the work to make it happen. Next, next really good thing to get clear on is your values. You know, what's really important to you? You know, what is important to you? See, that can help guide what you're willing to do to achieve that goal, you know, to be able to get what you want, what you're, what, what you're going to do to make it happen, which leads right into what writing out what, 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 what are you willing to do? See, it's got to align with your values because if you say you want to make more money to provide for your family, 
uh, than doing things that, that aren't good for your family to make money, well, that's not really in line with your values. That's not really you guiding your life to where you want to go. It's about, uh, in my opinion, it's about achieving the goal, but also living the life that you want to live in order to achieve that goal. And knowing your values and what you're willing to do, it's a huge part. Getting crystal clear on that, it's going to help you to make sure that, that, that your actions are in line with your values and guiding you to where you want to be. And, and the next step. You know, getting clear on that next step. As is, there's a, another saying that you, know, you don't have to see the whole staircase in order to take the next step. You don't have to see 10 steps, 20 steps down the road you know, when, when, when you're just on that next step. You don't have to worry about step number 22 when you're on step number two. But you do got to know what the next step is. If you're on step two, you got to know what step two is. And getting clear on that, you know, that can be a huge thing. A massive benefit to getting clear on, on the next step is that it can help from all those future steps distracting you. This is where clarity is it's so powerful. You know, when you know what, what, what you want and you know why you want it, you know, how achieving that goal relates to your values, you know, maybe what you're doing to do, where you're starting from, and you know that next step, man, you're, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Especially when you cl really clarify, you know, your, your values and, and how what you want resonates with what's really important to you. It's going to make doing the work so much easier. Not only are you going to stay on track because you're crystal clear on these things, it's at the, but getting crystal clear is actually going to make doing the work a little bit easier. See, this is not just for uh, achieving goals and having to be productive all the time and not giving yourself a break. And this can really, you know, getting crystal clear on certain things can help you just enjoy life too. It can just help you enjoy life more. You know, if you're just hanging out with the family, well, then get clear on that's what you're doing. That way, you and as I talked about earlier, you know, getting clear on your values. You know, if that's one of your values then you can be more present where you're at and not worry about you know, work or, or being productive in other areas because you're addressing one of your values, something that's really important to you, and you can just enjoy your time. You give yourself permission to enjoy your time more when you're clear uh, on what you want, why it's important, what you're going to do. You can enjoy what you're doing more. It, it, it gives you freedom. Getting clear, you know, it, it's not about limiting yourself. You know, when you start talking about some of the details and, and things like that, it's not about limiting yourself. This gives you freedom and power. When you have clarity, like that, that is power. It's worth taking the time to get crystal clear on some of the things that, that are important to you. What is, it, what is it that you need to get clear on so that you can achieve what you want? Are there any areas where a little lack of clarity is stopping you? from making the progress that you want or stopping you from enjoying life. Could getting clear on those things help you? Maybe it's worth giving it a shot. Well, that's what for, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for listening and joining in. Take some action on this stuff. Uh, these, these goal killers, you know, they're, they're big. I want you to, you know, make the progress that you want. I want you to guide your life to go where you want it to go. I want you to enjoy life. You know, and, and conquering these goal killers is going to be a good, good way to help you doing that. As I mentioned, you can go to nickmazy.com slash GKM and ask me any questions about goal killers. It could be about this one or the one from the last episode uh, or anything. And uh, I'm going to try to address it, answer as many questions as I can in this uh, upcoming uh, master class that I'll be putting out. And you get free access to it just by asking a question. Just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM and make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss any of these other uh, goal killer episodes or any other material that's coming out here soon. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care. I can't wait to talk to you again next week.